This is the carbine's rotating tube furnace based on the HCDS split tube three zone furnace. We'll now look at a few of the features of this furnace, but to do that, we'll take the gap. We're now looking at the vibratory feeder, the inlet assembly and the drive system. The vibratory feeder is industrial type with two vibrators. The main one which transfers the product into through the tube and into the work tube and the second, secondary one which ensures that the product from the hopper flows down into the primary feeder tube. Inlet assembly is water cooled when for operating temperatures above 900 degrees C. Twin silicon uh, rubber seals and exhaust vents and collection traps. Drive system, two wheel support um, with a direct mechanical drive through a simple Panasonic drive motor. All these features can be changed to suit specific customer requirements to invert a drive or possibly screw feeder to exchange the vibratory feeder. The rotating tube furnace control panel comprises vibratory feeder control, rotator speed control, gas inlet and emergency stops. Simple system which links the drive to the furnace operation. So should the furnace be open, it isolates the drive system. Throughput of product through the furnace is controlled by a combination of the drive speed and angle of inclination. The typical angle for the furnace is normally two degrees, but the range of the angle is from one to six degrees, with a rotational speed between one to 10 RPM. Control of the inclination is mechanical via this screw jack system. This is a standard option. It can be replaced with an electrical actuator, which can also be linked to the control system. Collection hopper made from high quality stainless steel. This basic system can be water cooled if accelerated product cooling is required. We have water cooling on the to protect the seals and we have a manual valve for decanting the product. This, as an option, can be automated. A view plate enables the operator to look down the work tube and see the product being heated as it passes through the various heated zones. The collection hopper has large access flanges for ease of cleaning the collection hopper with inlet gas ports at this side and ports for sensors such as oxygen analyzers or dew point meters. We'll now demonstrate how easy it is to exchange tubes.
Tilt them. 